Lars, don't get killed. That beast towered over me, but a bottle in the right spot would put anyone to sleep. I had to hold my breath. The slightest noise would betray me. No. Never mind. No, Cabron. What the fuck? I balanced one of the boards over the void, creating a suspended bridge. I didn't exactly feel safe about it. The board seemed well positioned, but not very stable. Maybe I was being too cautious. I plucked up my courage and prepared for the crossing. Whether a good idea or bad, time was running out and I wasn't making any progress. I relied on my physical prowess, calculated the distance, and prepared to jump. My... my God. I found a surprise waiting for me. Mr. Bundy, I was just looking for you. Am I late with the rent? The rent is the least of your problems right now. There are people, Mr. Bundy, who find your investigation really bothersome. You were sent by Molesberg, weren't you? The worm thinks he can scare me with his two-bit intimidation tactics, but I have absolutely no intention of stopping. I'll bring the truth to the light, even if a whole empire has to fall because of it. That's all I need to know. Wait! Uh, uh, uh. I don't need your fake warnings. Now get out of my way. I'm afraid I can't do that. Wait! Uh, uh, uh. I'm listening. Cooperate, and maybe there will be no unpleasant consequences. Many influential forces are at work in this story, Mr. Bundy. Are you talking about Molesberg? Did he send you? No names. Keep your curiosity under control for your own good. If you want my cooperation, you gotta give me something in exchange. I could give you much more than you think, if you answer properly. Not good enough. Tell me who sent you, now. <sighs> okay, Bundy. You win. Wait! Uh, uh, uh. What forces are you talking about precisely? You'd be surprised to find out. However, you'll never learn anything about it. I've worked my whole life to expose the truth, and you won't be the one to stop me. A praiseworthy, but still stupid choice. Wait! Uh, uh, uh. Take the bait. What do these forces at work want from me? That you don't try to push beyond your capabilities. That you accept your place as an insignificant exile and spend the rest of your life in the shadows. You have a choice to make, Bundy. Choose wisely. I have worked very hard to get to this point. I can't quit the case. Catherine's life is at stake. A praiseworthy and daring choice, but wrong. Wait! Uh. Okay, I'm fed up with this chattering. You have three seconds to come out of there, or I'll be coming to get you myself. One... Two... And three! It's the end of the road, baby! That might have been my only way out of that deadly trap. But there was an obvious problem. Mama was looking right in that direction. Maybe if I could draw her attention to the opposite side of the room, I could manage to sneak out of the window. All right then, I could find no other option but to risk it all. Where do you think you're going, little punk? in here it's time to go for broke and quickly I'm really fed up with this farce 
I'm coming to get you, moron! What was that? Okay, squirt. I'm sick of this. Come out of there and let's get it over with once and for all. Here you are, you snooper. Maybe it would have been better to take some precautions before attempting such a move. But I was desperate and short on time. An ideal combination for completely ignoring normal safety standards. But why did the doctor give me suggestions on how to solve the riddle of the Sit Lalique? Maybe he was feeding the challenge by giving you some hints. <sighs> I hope next time he sends a few pistachios instead. I love pistachios. Alice, are your steps in the hallway? Do something! Hurry! Uh, it, it's not what it looks like. Uh, uh, uh. Lars? Lars! Did I really need to do that, Mama dear? Sure you did, idiot. Didn't you see that bunch of fleas was going to bite my hindquarters? If you say so, Mama. Don't hold a grudge on me now. We followed that shorty this far, but where did he go? Come out of there, Stallone! Not in the garbage, you idiot! He must be in the shed. Now be quiet and let's wait for him to come out. Trapped again. Mom and Eugene didn't want to drop the ball. To get out of that shed, I would have to devise one of my genius ideas, and fast. Mama had a gun, while well, Eugene just needed his muscles. I wasn't sure that facing them directly was the wisest choice, but in the absence of a better plan, I could at least try. I decided to face Eugene, man to man. I could have reached the other side of the bridge by taking a long detour, but the path was so long that it was barely visible. Although it didn't appear particularly inviting, that bridge was still standing after who knows how many decades. Surely it would hold for another couple of minutes. Part at least. But you already know that, right? You found the remaining pieces for us, just like Red would expected. Unfortunately for you, I didn't bring them with me. Now it's you who's underestimating us. If they're not here with you, then we already know where to find what we need. The bartender is harmless. Well, the Polish woman could be a problem, but I'll take care of that later. Shoot a tranquilizer. It could be dangerous. Are you sure? We've got to try, or we'll never get away from this cliff alive. stop that monster. And now that we're finally alone, it's your turn, you pathetic crab. Shut your mouth once and for all, even if it's the last thing I do in my life. I'm sick of waiting. 
Taste the power of the Hand of Glory! Oh no. Uh-uh. Mama was right that someone was trying to take the baby away. I don't know what you're talking about. This is my son, and we are leaving, if you don't mind. Put the baby down, miss. Please! Keep watch, Yuji, she tell. And don't let anybody get out alive. N no wait I feel... I feel my breath failing. I don't want to die. Not now. Not like this. Oh, 